Hello everyone, God is good, hallelujah. Today's title is only Jesus. No other, only Jesus, hallelujah. Yesterday we had church in the morning, our afternoon service, and then at night. Wow, there's not enough words to to explain. It was just wow, amazing. It was amazing. We had two deaf get the Holy Ghost. And they will continue to get more and more of it. Hallelujah. reading this, I thought it was really cool and it was also connected to pastor's message. Let's look at what the word of God says. I'm going to read John chapter 6 verse 66 and 67. interesting John chapter 6, six and 66 it says from that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him meaning Jesus story about Jesus. He was a great teacher, a great leader, had a great ministry. He showed love, mercy. He then works in healings. But people still left and went back to life, to their lives. 67. Then said Jesus unto them, to the twelve, Will ye also go away? And I was thinking, you know, Jesus didn't chase after people saying, you know, what's wrong? Why are you leaving? He just kind of watched them go away. And I thought, well, that's your life. It's your decision. It's your way. I'm not going to force you. I'm not going to pull you back. He looks at the 12 saying, will you also go away? He looks at 68. Then Simon Peter always tended to answer first here. He says, Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Where are we going to do? Where are we going to go? Thou hast the words. eternal life. Wow. So now yesterday, this morning, Pastor Young talked about um, and preached from the book of John. And this is also the book of John. He was talking about John the Beloved. 
He was always right there with Jesus. And John is the only one from the twelve that was not martyred for their belief. And he lived to write the book of Revelations. All right, so now. I will show you John chapter 1, verse 1. Same person that's writing this. A lot of you already know. Some are new, just now learning. So welcome to Sign the Word. You love to sign it because the point is learning his word. This is in the beginning was the word. Everything that became was by the word. We don't have enough time to really explain it very super deep today. But it says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Verse 2 says, the same was in the beginning with God. It's exactly the same. It never changed. From Genesis 1 and 1, in the beginning. And we'll go back just one second. It says, in the beginning... God created God created the heavens and the earth. Okay, so now John says the word was with God. Word was God. John one and three, and all things were made by him. And that word him in English is singular, meaning one person. Without him was not anything made. So it's meaning without Jesus or without God, nothing would be here. Now let's look at first John one and one. We have to understand and remember that God is a spirit. We can't see God at any time. John 1 and 18 says, No man has seen God at any time. heart and they want they want to repeat this again and again so you understand the 
again, this is what the Bible is saying. It's not, it's not me, myself. What the Bible says. Again, no man has seen God at any time. The only... No man has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son. We're just talking about the fleshly body. When we see the word Father in the New Testament, and the word Son, it helps you to remember. There's no confusion, there's still only one. Those are his titles. As a father, and he's a, but he himself is a spirit, okay? And the word son is what he's talking about when he's in the fleshly body on earth. Now let's look at John, 1 John 1 1. Again, Simon Peter saying, Lord, who will we go to? You have the everlasting word. You have the eternal word. So again, 1 John 1, 1 says, That which was from the beginning... Which we have heard, and not only heard, but we have seen with our eyes. Remember, draw that right again from heaven. He's right as while he's on earth, meaning he's human and same as us. And he's saying, We have finished seeing you already with our own eyes. Which we have looked upon. We've seen things. We've seen you do miracles and speak the words of eternal life, which only Jesus can do. There's only Jesus, there is no one else. of the word of life. So if you're busy talking about he's talking about is he is he talking about a different God or a different person? No, he's talking about Jesus himself. We will see the word of life. Jesus will show his stars. We will see the, the hole in his side. We will get to see the glory of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's the one who controlled my time. I'm deaf, my wife is behind me talking. But again, I'll, I'll tell my testimony from California Deaf Conference from last year. We were standing before God, my wife and I, and we were praying together. And I 
know, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And I know that number means one. One means one. It doesn't mean two or three. There's no other throne beside or above or around him. He's just his. And he is my Lord. And I was praying to him. And I began to speak in tongues. I know what it feels like. I've experienced it before. And so I know I was speaking in tongues, but I didn't know exactly what I was saying. I had no idea. But God knew. And he was controlling my tongue and telling it what to say. And I began to speak in Spanish. Yes, my family is from South America from Colombia, but we know no Spanish. I'm definitely not fluent in it or its dialect at all. We always spoke sign language, but after we were done praying, a young lady came up to me and asked if I spoke Spanish because she was inspired because she was able to hear. So the she came up to me and says, do you speak Spanish? I said, no, honestly, I, I don't. I was born deaf, raised deaf, still deaf, always used my hands. I, I speak no other language. And she was astonished because she said, you spoke perfect. How did I do that? Because God was in control and he's perfect. Later, we found out that she was from Colombia. I just want to let you know that God is real. these parentheses are added for more information. For the life was manifested being revealed and you can read it for yourself. These all connect perfectly. They all match up perfectly. They're not, John doesn't say one thing here and a different here. So you can see where John has said multiple times, we've seen you. We've been able to touch you. And we have seen it, meaning the life, We're going to talk about the word of life and bear witness. And that word of life was Jesus, Jehovah. He really is God. God holds right. We will show unto you the eternal life. So let me go back. So Peter said this, and John wrote. wanted to remember exactly what Simon, or John wanted to remember what Peter was saying to Jesus. So again, words of eternal life. Let's go back to 1 John, 1 John 1 and 2. 
which was with the Father, again meaning spirit, Because remember that when you're reading, that they're not separate. As it's with deaf and hearing as well, okay? So when you see the word Father, you have to remember that it's talking about when he's in spiritual form. So you can say, when he's with the Spirit, they're not separate. It was manifested unto us. Remember Philip and John, book of John as well. Philip. Philip says, show us. You know, he's asking Jesus, show us the Father. And remember when he's in that fatherly form, that spiritual form, you can't see him at all. So Philip, you know, is saying, hey, Jesus, show us the Father. And Jesus is kind of like looking at him like, Philip, we've been together. I've been with you for many, many years now. Maybe two years at this time. We don't really know, but we've been together for a long time. And you know me. And Jesus kind of says, you know, you know me, then you know the Father. We don't have time to explain more deeper, but 1 John 1 and 3 says, That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you. That this is the truth. Also, be able to fellowship with us. We need salvation from our our our, our spiritual death, and who is able to do that for us? There's only one. There is no other ones or separate people, separate gods in heaven. There's one. And God became flesh, was known as the Son, so he could die on the cross for our sins. Now I'm a brother, I'm an uncle, I'm a son. Someday I'll be a father, but those are my titles. My name is Jeff. And these things write we unto you that your joy may be full. So then our last verse. Galatians 1 on 1. Okay, again, John is writing this book as well. Revelation also means to show or have understanding of the revelation of Jesus Christ. Yeah, only Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you.